Hello there, Bob. How are you? It's Tomas. So, I uh, finally got a chance to send you some of this video from our lesson, which was a great, great lesson and uh, that I really enjoyed, and I think we made some really good progress. I hope the new driver is working out well for you. I'll be anxious to hear about that. At any rate, uh, I wanted to show you a few things that we discovered uh, during our first lesson about your swing. This is your swing uh, in slow motion, the original down the line view, and the original what we call caddy view or straight on view. Now I'll just play through these once real fast and then we'll analyze them a little bit. That's the way you looked from the caddy view, and here's the way you look from down the line view. This is with the 7 iron. Okay. Well, let's take a look at some of the ways that we analyze, that we use to analyze what's going on here. And then I'll get into some of the actual work that we did. So, at the address position, let's draw a little box around you here and see what your, uh, what your movement is like. There's where your head is, right there. And, of course, your body is kind of forward of where your head is, but that's okay. That's all right. There's that. So, let's start start moving this uh, swing here and see what happens. Well, the first thing, of course, you see what happens is that you stand up. So, right away, if you're trying to get back to this position to hit the ball, you got to do a lot of moving to get back there, as opposed to just staying right there. That's a, what we're trying to get at, is to keep that head right where it is. And that way, the low point is going to stay the same, but you see what happens with your head. You stand way up, and it moves back to the right side. You see how much weight is on your right foot here. Okay, so we're going to work on changing that. Here you're trying to get back to it. See, that's what everybody does at the beginning. You're trying to get back to your head right in that center spot to maintain the low point of the swing right right there at the ball. But as you can see, your head is still is still behind and above where it started out. So you gotta do something to keep from crashing into the ground back here. And what you do is that you flip your uh, hands here. You can see that, like that. That shortens the uh, arc there, and uh, and that's that's what keeps you from crashing into the ground. You also continue to lean back on that right foot, and that makes the club the club come through shallower. I like the way your arm is straight here. Both arms are straight there, but that's way too flipped. Let's see. And then now, at this point, your weight does start going over to the left side. But you've already hit the ball, so uh, you can see where your, where your head is at here. It's okay up until about here. We would like to keep your head down in that circle. Or start it up here so that it always stays the same. <laughs> There's two ways to do it, you know. Either start it different, in other words, the address, make the address position more with your head up a little bit higher, and then it's easier to keep it there, as opposed to having it go up and then back down, okay? So, that's the two things that are critical in your swing, the flip and the movement of the head. Okay, and now uh, on the down the line view, we're going to draw a couple lines here that will um, that will show 
the plane of the club that goes up the, up the line and then up through your shoulders here. Now this this line looks pretty good. It goes should go up right through your waist, so that that looks pretty good. This one goes up through your shoulder. Let's see how you do. The other thing we're going to do, of course, is to draw um, a little box where your head is right there. So now, as we go through the down the line swing, you can see that your hands stay in that in that wedge. It's the uh, vertical swing plane wedge, although your club is way below. You can see your club is way below. That has to do with this uh, this move you make at the beginning. You see how your hands go like there. See that? It sort of Im uh, mimics the impact position. So we want to we want to start moving that club back with your hands, so instead of letting it drag like that. That's what puts the club outside this arc, so we'd rather have the club come up through the arc. This is all good in here, but then you come way up and go back out on this side. So it's coming up like this, comes up the head club is coming up like that, and then back out. We'd rather keep it all straight up and down here. It's much, much easier. And then look what happened to your head in that in that period of time too. That's your position at the beginning. Moving way back. So you're moving backwards. You can't see that in this picture, but you're moving back and up. So we're gonna maybe start working on the address position to make it match what's more comfortable during the swing because you can see once you get into the swing then your head stays pretty much the same. So there's no sense in having a start way down here and then go through all that movement. You might as well start it where it's going to end up and that way you don't have to move. That's going to help you keep the swing inside the wedge as well. This is all very good. The club is coming from the inside here which is good and that all looks real good from the back except for the fact that you can see that your weight is back at impact your weight is back here on the on the right side and we want it up on the left side you'll see that as we go through the lesson so so those are the things that we're going to work on from a uh, from a swing point of view, to show you, uh, I'll show you the driver now. Uh, yeah, the same thing with the driver, and it's just pretty much the same, just uh, more. <laughs> so uh, wait a second, I'm going to put this on pause for a second, load the driver up, hold on. Okay, here's the driver. Uh, we'll do the same thing with the um, with the driver. This little guy here and go through the driver and you see that first of all you notice how everything goes to the right except the club <laughs> we did change this during the lesson so uh, see that's we don't want that we want the club to be out here at this point sort of straight down from your left arm it'll make it easier I like the subtleness subtleness of your wrist but but uh, it's a little too much, but with the driver, you can see you really, really move to the right, all your weight there on the right side, and that makes it very, very difficult to get back to the ball, and as you can see, you never do come back, all your weight here on the right side, look at that, that's why you're losing it to the right, look at how open that club face is there, right before impact. You do shut it, but it's so hard to do that move and to time it correctly. We want to get rid of that. That's where that's flipping over. You see, this is the same flip. It's so hard to time that. In this case, you actually had to bend your arms to keep the club from crashing into the ground. But see, this arm is bent here. It's actually not straight. So now we got a real kludge going on there. And look at where your head is compared to where it started. So all of that introduces chaos into the swing as I always like to say and uh, gonna make it very hard to repeat so if we're looking for consistency 
we're going to change that. And you see, as your weight is now starting to move to the left side, it finally gets over there, and you do this nice little <laughs> pose at the end. You even get it far enough so you can lift up that right foot. But, God, the ball's already gone, you know. We would like that to be the weight position at the moment of impact. That's where your weight should be at the moment of impact, not back here at the moment of impact. So we gotta get that we gotta get the sequence to change where your weight moves over to the uh left side before you hit the ball. Same thing on this where we draw the wedge here, you can see it's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same same thing as you might expect. Just a little bit more of it. See how much you've stood up here. So wouldn't be bad if you started there. You see if you start let's say it's right here. Let's say if you if you started with your head here. Now watch what happens as you swing. Your head stays pretty, pretty steady. Look at that. Look at that. Your head stays pretty steady there. So we're going to work on starting, on changing that address position from being way down here like that to being a little bit more, more with the knees bent, like a, I call it the second baseman uh, pose, which you got pretty well here. I like this like little little shift here. You're starting to go to the left side, but you never quite get there. Your weight stays back on the right side there. And you can see how far to look at how how open the club face is. See the club face is wide open there. And you're trying to close it down. Of course you don't close it down. Now it's now it's uh square to the target. So that means back at the moment of impact it was open. And you can see, you can almost see it putting that side spin on the ball, so it would, it would make that ball go like that to the right, which it did. So, and then of course you finally do get your weight over. Beautiful finish position, just a little late. All right, so we started then to um, to work on a uh, drill. Let's load this drill here. erase all this stuff. So we load this drill where I taught you to uh, start out by just doing short swings where your weight is fully on the left side, which is where it should be for impact. It's called the impact drill because it is designed to teach you what it feels like at the moment of impact, what it should feel like at the moment of impact. And so as we move through this shot is very short little swing you can see you you don't in a short swing like this we have it let me just move this here so there is a little bit of movement to the right here but for for now let's put this guy right around here like this and you'll see that your head moves back a little bit but not up and not too far back and then comes and then stays there Look at how steady your head is compared to that full swing, see? See that? That's the way we want it. So you learned really good here. And look at this. Look at this moment of impact. Check this out. This is what we were trying to get you to do. The ball's already gone, so this is just after impact. Look at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look at that. That's a golfer. This is a, you know, weekend warrior type guy. Here's a golfer right here. Look at the difference. See where your weight is here on the right side? Weight here is over on the left. So this is a great, great drill to see. Now you're still starting to flip a little bit early for me, but uh, we'll, we'll keep working on that. But right in here, that looks really, really good. Look at that ball go. And you remember this. I don't know if you remember this shot, but, you know, you hit a 
<laughs> you hit it without much effort. You hit it really nice long way. Okay. Yeah. So that's really good. So that's a great drill. I told you I do this drill almost every time I start practicing. I use this little drill because it shows you to keep your head steady and it shows you what it feels like the moment of impact with your weight on the left side weight on the left side because that's where you start and you leave it there and this arm totally straight the hands in front of the club so keep the hands in front of that club head even more they should be out in here this should be like this that's where your hands should be out there at that point so in other words, every time you get to a different place in the swing, you should be able to draw a line from your shoulder to the club head and have your hands be out near that line, not in back of it, up until about that point. Up until about that point. So you can see that you got a little bit of practicing to do to get those hands out in this direction over here. Okay? Like that. So that will that will make that will allow you to hit down on the ball and um, let the club do the work to get the ball up in the air. So that's a little drill. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to end this video here because uh, I I don't normally do this, but I happen to have left the camera running during the period of time that I was um, uh, giving you um, a lot of tips in the middle about this drill and how it related to the full swing and we finally got into a great great swing at the end so um, it's 20 minutes long but uh, I'm gonna just play it for you because um, it's a great lesson and uh, I apologize for the fact that you're looking at my butt most of the time during the uh, lesson but that but there's a lot of great information in there uh, you know it's more than I normally send out to people but um, what the hell as long as I recorded it, uh, you might as well have it. Get your money's worth. <laughs> so um, I'm going to give that to you next. And then the third video will be coming back and looking at a driver swing that we did after the whole lesson was over to see how it, um, how you did in terms of uh, interpreting all that information and putting it into, into um reality. So I hope everything is uh, going well for you with the new driver, but uh, take a look at this um, take a look at this lesson that's next. Open the next video, which is lesson 1B, and then come back and look at lesson 1C and um, and then let's get together again and do lesson 2. All right. See you soon.